in the series of admixture of concrete and its type like chemical admixture mineral admixture now i would like to request dr k mohan sir to tell us about the accelerator admixture retarder ya retarding admixture and water reducer or water reducing admixture very good topic mr singh accelerators first i will discuss accelerators are added to concrete either number 1 to increase the rate of hydration of cement and hence to increase the rate of development of strength or number 2 to shorten the stretching time they are added to concrete number 1 to permit earlier removal of formwork number 2 to reduce curing time number 3 for earlier use of structure number 4 for placement of concrete during cold weather that is cold weather concreting for emergency repair work for more effective plugging of leaks against hydraulic pressure the general action of accelerator is to cause a more rapid dissolution of um, outs of cement particularly c3s in water and hence facilitate more rapid hydration and these compound of these compounds calcium chloride is the most common accelerator calcium chloride can generally be used up to 2% by mass of cement however calcium chloride is not permitted to be used in pre stressed concrete because of possibility of corrosion of steel some of the other accelerators are sodium chloride sodium sulfate sodium hydroxide potassium hydroxide calcium formate calcium nitrate fluorosilicate triethanol now retarders retarders delay the initial rate of hydration of cement and extend the setting time of cement phase in concrete they are used number 1 to overcome the accelerating effect of high temperature on setting time of concrete in hot weather number 2 in casting and consolidating large numbers of cores without the formation of cold joint number 3 in grouting of oil wells number 4 in transporting concrete to long distance in transit mix trucks to ensure that it remains plastic and in flexible condition number 4 to obtain exposed aggregate look in concrete retarders delay setting of cement by forming a thin coating on the cement particles and thus slowing down the reaction before the most commonly known retarder is gypsum it is interground with clinker to delay setting time of cement some of the other retarders are common sugar soluble star dextrin calcium borate hydroxide of zinc and lead alkali bicarbonate some of the retarders also reduce the water requirements of the concrete mixture making further reduction possible in the water cement ratio they may also in train some air in concrete retarders do not affect significantly the final setting time of cement or 28 days compressed resistance the materials used as a water reducing and set controlling and mixture are called retarding plasticizer very small doses of the order of 0.05 to 0.1% of mass of concrete added sir can you please enlighten us about the water reducers well mr singh i will now discuss about water reducers water reducers either increases workability of concrete without increasing water cement ratio or maintain workability with a reduced amount of water the purpose of using water reducers is to allow a reduction in water cement ratio while retaining the desired workability or to improve the workability at a given water cement ratio water reducers help in number 1 obtaining a specified strength at a lower cement content or obtaining higher strength with the same cement number 2 improving the properties of concrete containing marginal or low quality aggregate number 3 faster rate of concrete placement number 4 easy placement in poorly accessible location without drive benefits of water reduction in hardened concrete are increased strength durability 
volume stability, abrasion, uh, abrasion resistance, reduced permeability, and crack. An admixture capable of reducing water requirement up to 15% are classified as plasticizer, and up to 30% are classified as superplastic. 